Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video here in Moscow, Russia. Yes, we're out uh, adventuring again, walking around. Now we're going to go in search of Russia's dollar store. Now it's called Sigurfor and I know it's here somewhere in this market. Now I'm currently in a place called Food City which is Russia's largest single trading hall in all of Russia and in all of Europe. This place is huge. I think maybe about uh, 1,000 or more traders across the whole uh, floor area inside and outside. And this place is massive. So we're going to go look for Sigafor. We're going to see if we can find it. And we're going to go for a little walk around and check out the prices in Sigafor. So let's go, shall we? Now after walking around in circles, I think five times, I finally found Sigafor. Now I wanted to come to this place for a while, but I've just had to find the right location. Google Maps is no help, Yandex Maps is no help. So I finally found it. Now this is the equivalent in America to the dollar store or dollar general, uh, pound saver in England. In Australia, we've got red dot or reject shop. Now this is a little bit on a different scale. It's kind of a biggish kind of place. It's like a warehouse style shop, but it's got a big eclectic mix of things. Now right out the front for 153 rubles, so about $1.50, $1.60, you can get a bag of soil. Uh, coming now into springtime, people preparing their gardens and their duchess for springtime for their uh, plants and flowers and seeds they're gonna start planting. You can also get some, uh, some fencing here for $5.50. So I'm going to use the exchange rate of uh, 559 rubles here, being about 100 rubles to a dollar. So it's probably a little bit lower depending on when you're watching this now. So we'll kind of have a look around. And it's a little bit uh, eclectic. It's probably the best thing I can describe. You've got like a kid's bicycle right here. And then you've got some carpets. There you go, $6 for a carpet. Nice for the kitchen maybe. And then right here off to one side, you've also got watermelons. So it's uh, about a dollar twenty a kilo for nice, juicy watermelons. There's some big size watermelons right there too. And how would you be? The lady's buying a shopping trolley of sausages. And she's got the next trolley is Fruit Loops, believe it or not. So that's how eclectic this place is. It's uh, it's got its times when it's busy and it's quiet and there's a crowd of people but you know I always come for my trolley of Fruit Loops and sausages that's my thing when I come shopping and then also maybe you want an ice cream they just have basically a uh, kind of Cornetto style ice cream 40 cents and we'll kind of just have a quick wander around because there's all sorts of things some uh, rubber shoes, it's a little bit of like flip-flops, um, it's like a lucky dip kind of store when you come in here, it's, uh, it's got plenty of lighting but it's a little bit dark here, there's a, uh, what's these like underbed storage I think these are, oh there's a paddling pool, look at that, let's get ourselves a paddling pool shall we? It's only $6 for a paddling pool. So again, just roughly work out at 100 rubles to a dollar. And you're about right with the exchange. Are these those uh, bath gels? You guys know these things? I don't know what they're called. See, most of them have lost their wrapping. Oops, sorry. Uh, frying pans. If you want a wok or a frying pan. Not too bad prices, I don't think. Seven dollars for a frying pan, eight dollars. And exactly the place I want to be is like now the lady wants to squeeze through three people. So, whoops, sorry. Yeah, there's a bit of everything here. So, here you've got the uh, bu bucket for cleaning the floors, and right next to you, you get the oil and petrol siphon, you know, like the uh, when you want to fill your car up with oil or petrol. So, <laughs> I find this place very interesting, like really, it's uh, very, I don't know, would I say it's very Russian? I guess the way that they kind of lay out things all over the place. Uh, bubble bath, 
So what's that, 100, 100 rubles? I'm not sure, I think that's the right sign for that one. And then below it there's like serving dishes for the, for the table. And how about a uh, vodka carafe? 222 rubles. And vegetable oil right above that. <laughs> so, have a look around. So yeah, there's a, uh, it's all in kind of, not in bulk, but it's just, you know, not on shelves neatly. It's not packed out very nice. So you ha come and have a dig. Find you something, find yourself something you didn't want. And it's uh, very cool. I, I think it's cool. I'm sure maybe, you know, these guys are looking at a water filter. Maybe they want to get a new water filter for the kitchen. Most people here don't drink tap water, so filtered water is kind of, kind of uh, very important. So it kind of opens up a little bit here as well. So there is kind of a little bit of order to it, but you've got garbage cans next to tomato sauce, next to, uh, I think this is apple juice. That's actually not too bad, 95 rubles, a dollar for a, about a liter of apple juice. And then uh, you can see here, basically, it's just palletized. It's up on shelves. It's all over the place. Here's some jam, I think. This strawberry jam. Look at that. 83 rubles. 90 cents for a jar of jam. That's pretty good. Get some uh, canned tuna. So again, I'm kind of pointing everything out to you guys. I'm sure you can sort of make sense of what I'm looking at here. But you've got like an engine degreaser and then you've got uh, canned chicken right below it. <laughs> so it's um, a nice mix of things. It's just interesting how they display it. You know, they didn't choose to put all the food in one area, uh, you know, something else in another area. What else have we got here? We've got some uh, jarred sauces. Pickled tomatoes, 65 rubles. So, <laughs> big giant ones here. Look at all these. Look at these jars. Oh, this is a good couple of kilos worth of pickled tomatoes, pickled uh, cucumbers for $2.50 for a massive jar of that. Uh, there's toilet roll here. This is really like the generic. Uh, is this toilet roll? Uh, yeah, it's toilet roll. Yeah, the toilet rolls. It's not bad though for 10 rolls for a dollar 30. I don't think it's particularly good quality, but it works. Maybe you've got a business or you've got a cafe and you just want to put it in the in the public restrooms or toilets. It's long life milk. So this is about half the price you'd usually pay at 49 rubles. So this is the fairly common, this is not the common brand, but for 50 cents for a uh, litre of long life milk is pretty good. And then you've even got the frozen section. This is uh, some frozen fish here. I'm not sure where this comes from, if it's probably not local for sure. From somewhere obscure. You can get some uh, chicken nuggets. And there's even some um, pancake wraps, bilini. And then there's even their attempt at a pizza as well. That's only 70 rubles. What? For a pizza? That can't be right. I think it is. And then they have the refrigerator section, which has a good eclectic mix as well. A little bit of cheeses. And then there's uh, basically just open packaged food. Mushrooms, persimmons melons, uh, apples, I mean not the best quality but 70 cents a kilo for apples. There's also meats here which are a little bit, they were a little bit not you know well uh, displayed but $2.30 a kilo is not too bad I don't think and there's also hams and sausages in the back there which we saw the lady taking the whole trolley earlier so it's uh, very, very interesting. And there's whole milks, yogurts. And again, it's all 
very cheap. I mean, it's a little bit more generic branding. It's not probably the brand you'd get at the supermarket most of the time. But for the price, it's a bargain. Sorry to show you the whole uh, sides of beef here, but that's kind of how they have them. And these guys in the back here are looking for some different sausages and salamis. So let's get out of the fridge. What else do they have in the frozen section here? I think they have some, oh, some frozen vegetables of some kind. And then, you know, while you're here, you can get yourself a couple of kitchen chairs. I think that's the actual table as well, uh, with the legs. $20. The chairs come in at $13. Yeah, it's a, a bit of everything. Even the fresh juices. So these are the uh, the juices here. 48 rubles. It's like apple juice. I think the guy over here is not sure of the brand. That's why he's not sure if he's going to pay 48 rubles or not. Because most of the things here are like uh, off-brand products. Which is very normal in dollar store kind of places, right? So There's the big apple juice again for 95 rubles. And there's actually a, what's this one? This is 51 rubles. What? What's in this one? Is this, it's like pumpkin juice, is it? Pumpkins. I'm not sure if I really want pumpkin juice, but maybe somebody likes that kind of thing somewhere in the world. And then on this side, we have a floor, floor sealer and paint. Some little stools right there. Ironing board for nine dollars. So, uh, I really kind of hope you like this kind of walk around. This is really kind of, it's a warehouse shop, but it's actually there's about I think about 15 or 20 locations throughout Moscow region. Um, I really had to sort of dig around to find this one because it's really in an obscure spot. So eventually, eventually, I found it. Um, it's a bit of cleaning kind of stuff here. There is a bit of organization of this aisle or line, I guess. You can get yourself a six pack of, I think this is, is this hairspray or deodorant? I think it's hairspray, is it? I think. 82 rubles each. I'm not up on all the products and what they actually are. Tonic. 52 rubles. Here's some uh, different cleaners. I imagine that's kind of a cleaner for your sofa, is it? Or is this like an all-purpose cleaner? It's only 85 cents. 85 rubles. This looks like a window cleaner, I think. Yeah, so yeah, a bit of everything. All in the one store. It's um, definitely somewhere I had to kind of come and see for myself just to get an idea of what's here, what's not here. Um, I've kind of heard good things and bad things about the same place all at the same time. So, you know, it's a matter of uh, coming for yourself and seeing if you like it, and like what they've got to offer. The big uh, cool drink bottles here. I think over here is, uh, or like some biscuits, or some uh, honey, honey flavored chips. I think we're on the wrong side for the price for that one. So, yeah, let's uh, find our way to the exit and keep walking around a little bit more. Now, I found those Fruit Loops the lady was uh, having the whole trolley of. They're only 61 rubles per bag. So it's kind of like the, without the cardboard box that you'd get in the supermarket. And for 61 rubles, I guess it's not too bad. I guess maybe your kids don't know what brand it is, so that's okay. Um, and there's some other candy right here. And even some, uh, I think these are nuts coated in chocolates, are they? Looks like. And then right on the other side, you've got uh, containers. <laughs> so, I'm sorry for being kind of happy while I'm walking around here because it's 
it's just that kind of very uh, mixed up kind of display style, you know, where you can get, you know, sponge cake bases right there for 65 rubles, 65 cents. And then there's some other, uh, just, I'm not sure this one is, it's some sort of candy. And then over here we've got baby food. And baby food's only 32 cents per per squeezy bottle. So that's pretty cheap for the kids, or for the young kids, I guess you would call it. And as we head out, there's uh, some painting uh, easels. It's not too bad for 101 rubles. I think that's right. No, that's actually for the thing underneath. The painting easels are 365 rubles. There's some toys here to entice the kids as they're waiting in line to pay, right? They always put the toys in the end of the line. Some Christmas baubles. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting uh, assortment of things. And then you get the line that's never ending to pay right here. It's not too long though, there's two checkouts working, so. But they have to argue who's next in line, even if it's just a simple short line. Now, this is the cafe that I've chosen today for lunch. It's called Cafe Sinkolnaya. Now, the Sink Cafe, yeah, I guess, is the English translation of it. And there's a lot of choices. Now, it's kind of an express cafe, which is a little bit strange because it's, it's a sit-down cafe. Plenty of stuff here. So actually, when you order your food, there's a little uh, number up here. And then the lady calls out the names of the dishes until they're uh, coming to collect them. So yeah, you've got quite a few choices. There's some soups. There's shashlik or kebab. You can see the meats there right in the middle. Uh, you can even get kind of like a pork steak as well. And then different sort of salads as well over here. So there's quite a choice. There's a lot of people working here. You can see the kitchen in the back there. There's the uh, guys working away. And they even have like a uh, kind of like breakfast menu as well over here. Check this like egg and avocado dish right up here. So, and of course, as always, beer on tap, coffee. There's also different hot teas right in the back there as well. And you can even get like a uh, full bottles of juices for the table so you can sit down together and uh, I like how it says here warming showcase. They're meant to take that word out of the uh, display cabinet when they bought it, but it's still sitting there <laughs> that it's a warming showcase. They're meant to put the name of the cafe in that little uh, sign holder. So yeah, let's sit down and have some nice lunch. Okay, so this is what I decided to get uh, for lunch. Now, unfortunately I went for Coca-Cola today. Uh, I've walked a lot today before I got here, so I needed some sugar. Um, so, and I got traditional Bosch soup. And look how red it is. It's as red as the Coca-Cola label. And I also got uh, Cher... Uh, Cher I keep saying this wrong. Cherbuke? It's like Burek, but uh, Cherburek. It's a kind of a pastry turnover or pastry with meat inside. So this one's actually with beef and there's a little bit of sour cream as well that you can put in your soup. So yeah, I'm going to check this out and see how nice it is. Now just to give you an idea of the price, it was 410 rubles. I don't have the receipt, they didn't give it to me for some reason. Uh, which is about $4.50. So it was very good value for lunch. I think this is actually going to be too much. Uh, just looking at it. Let's see. Now, the traditional way to eat uh, Bosch soup is to actually get your soup bowl nice and close. And then you get a dollop of sour cream and you put it right into your soup. Give it a bit of a mix up and it kind of turns a pinkish color. Now, this sour cream uh, just adds a little bit of extra flavor to your uh, Bosch. Now, Bosch is actually not so much Russian it's more Ukrainian so for anyone who's gonna kind of question that you know which country things are from 
Um, I'm always a little bit confused, so I have to always look it up myself. So, yeah, borscht right here. This is about as traditional lunch as you can possibly eat, I think. Oh, oh and it's very nice. You know, especially for an inexpensive restaurant, you don't have to pay lots of money to eat well in Russia. I mean, this is a nice sit-down restaurant, plenty of tables and chairs, they've got a nice menu, and you can have a nice hearty meal for $4.50, which is just crazy. Now, my burek here, now it doesn't look so amazing when you tear it open and eat it, but It's um, like a pastry, uh, deep fried pastry. So they put the meat in, they fold over the pastry, and then they deep fry it. Uh, and it's very nice. Again, another good uh, lunch here in uh, Moscow, Russia. We're going to uh, continue our little bit of a tour. And I hope you like this little mini break in between, uh, just showing you the uh, cuisine of Russia. The uh, burek actually kind of uh, originates in the Crimean Peninsula, which is kind of, you know, where this Ukrainian-Russian border kind of exists. It's also very well known in Turkey as well, so depending on who you talk to, they'll give you different opinions of, of uh, burek. They even have it in places as far as uh, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro. So everyone has a little bit of a different version of it, so it depends on Kind of where you live, how you interpret it, but here in uh, Moscow, very nice meal, and unfortunately, Coca Cola today. So, cheers! Mm. After a lot of walking today, I needed this, I needed a bit of a sugar boost. So, and Coke in a glass bottle in Russia. Thank you, Coca Cola, Atlanta, Georgia, for your uh, kind hospitality today. So Food City is the largest market in all of Russia. Now, it's just impossible to give you an idea of how big this place is. I mean, it would be hours and hours of walking around and looking at all the items. It's basically wholesale, retail, single items, pallets, containers, any amount you like. So you're going to have to really let me know, would you like to see a bit more of a detailed tour of Food City? Now the hardest thing with this kind of place is nothing's really got prices on it. It's all basically on request. Uh, you can kind of get single item pricing, bulk pricing. There is no uh, end to what sort of things you can buy. And just the amount of stock, it's just pallets of things everywhere. You know, this shop here just has uh, food containers and packaging. And then you'll see here, you know, like pickled vegetables, olives. Oh, look at the olives. Oh, здравствуйте. Hi. Uh, olives. Sorry. There's, uh, you know, just all sorts of things. Stuff for the house. There's even uh, different spices. You can buy them by the gram. Nice. Very well. Do you have things from Australia here? Italian. Australia? Italian. Italian? Yeah. Oh. It, Italian, not so good football. Not in the World Cup now. Espanol. Espanol? Yeah, I know these products. I know already. Oh, Real, Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Oh. <laughs> You're not so Russian then. <laughs> Oh, that's perfectly fine. Oh, also your shop? Yeah, Sensoi. Like uh, products from China. And here we have mangoes. Have a look at these fresh mangoes. Oh, we had some of these in Australia last year. They were amazing. Coconuts. Mangoes aren't cheap, but. It's basically very seasonal things here, right? So they have to be imported from somewhere. So just the choices and the like, amount of food here. I don't think for sure these few minutes of me walking around is going to do it justice. But it's really all in any quantity you like. These guys just have uh, pastas. 
has to buy the five kilo bags oils eggs yeah i think please let me know should i come back and do another tour of this place i think it would be very interesting to uh make a separate vlog all together coming here it's uh two levels as well by the way this is the kind of main food level on the ground floor and then up on the second level it's things like clothing electronics uh, there's even like uh, restaurants up there so there's a lot of things in one place it's um, I know it's I, I'm kind of always overwhelmed or sound overwhelmed when I'm sort of looking at things but it's when you if you come here for the first time it, it's just too much I mean you can go nuts with how much shopping you buy and then you can't even fit it in the car you end up with so much things so it's uh very very uh so here we've got the meats and then over here you can even get some new uh cuttle uh, like uh, coffee mugs and teacups stoneware so it's uh, very cool here we go look at these lamb chops right here nice lamb chops okay everybody i'm gonna uh head out the door and i'm gonna be done with my filming now so Okay everybody, so we've come to the end of the video now. I'm just on the bus on the way home. You can see how long the line is waiting for the bus. We have one bus going to our town, can you believe it? So we have to wait maybe two buses to catch the bus sometimes depending on the line. So today was kind of interesting. Uh, we had a little bit of luck and a bit of bad luck. I uh, hope you enjoyed my lunch review and I hope you enjoyed the tour of uh, Sigurfor. Here in Moscow, Moscow's dollar store, the famous dollar store in Russia. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, post a comment, let me know what you think. If you aren't a subscriber, click the subscribe button and I'm off on another adventure. Bye everybody, bye. bye.